In this video, we're going to have a look at couches. So we're going to show you a variety of ones that we have available to use. Uh, I'm going to start with mobile couches because this is the most likely thing you're going to buy. Most people either work mobile or rent a room in a clinic for, for one day a week, so they need something that's portable. So this is your portable options. Um, the black one of the two is my favourite for some very basic reasons. First of all, the weight of it is much, much lighter, so you need to watch the weight of your couch if you're carrying it around. Second thing is the width of it. So this one is really, really high. So when I lift this, I can walk along normally without bending off to one side, whereas this, I'd have to lean to be able to get it off the floor. So that's the very first two basic criteria you need to think about. The next thing we'd recommend is you've always got a face hole. You do an awful lot of work with your client face down and if you don't have a face hole or the other option is a face cradle that goes on the end, if you don't have that you're not going to be able to work with your client face down very easily. So if I open up the couch, the other thing about this couch which is much better than this couch is that the legs are aluminium. So they're much stronger and much more durable than the legs of this couch which I'll show you in a minute which are wooden. It's also got quite a lot of cabling which will help to give more stability to the couch when you're working on it. So this is quite a lightweight, narrow couch with aluminium legs. The other benefit of this couch is that, if I spin it around, you have a section that you can sit up. So you can actually sit your client up while you're treating them. Um, and then they're much more comfortable. So that's good for doing things like chest or arms, or if you've got a client that can't lay flat for whatever reason, it's quite a useful tool to have. So there's some basics about your couch. And just to give you a rough price idea, they can range from anywhere from about 60 pounds to four or 500 pounds, and that's just for a portable couch. So that's the best one of the two. I shall take you through the white one next. So I've already mentioned a couple of things about this that I don't like. It's the height or width of it that is a real problem. So like I said, to get this off the ground, I've either got to lift at the shoulder and the elbow, or I've got to lean. And you're not going to want to do that every day. Also, this one's probably twice the weight of that. So think about that when you're lifting it in and out of a car. However, if you're working at home, one benefit is it is a nice wide couch. So if you've got a wider client, like a bodybuilder or something like that, this would be a better couch, and if you're not taking it up and down, it's less problematic. Um, the other thing I don't like about this couch is the fact that it's white. It's white towels and white couches are a nightmare if you're moving them around a lot. They look grey and filthy really quickly. This one hasn't been used a great deal because I kind of bought it by error, but there we go. Um, so it's not too dirty, but they can get filthy, so bear that in mind. Obviously, this one has the face hole, and you can also put a cradle on this one if you'd rather have that. And it does still open up like the other ones, so you can sit this sit your clients up just as well. The other thing with this one is it is wooden leg, so it feels less stable and it's much harder to adjust the height. So both of these couches have height adjustable legs, which means you can make them fit yourself. You can get some that are solid legs and don't move. So try and avoid those because if you've got bigger clients again, or you're short or tall, you're going to have a problem with it. So height adjustable legs are important, but this is wood, so it's much easier to damage. It's adding more weight to the couch because it is wood, um, but it does have the cabling again, so that's a benefit of it, but harder to adjust. So that's the two or two different types of mobile couch that we've got here. What we'll do now is we'll take you over to a static couch, which you can't take anywhere. And they're generally quite expensive, but if you're in a clinic, they're some of the best because you can adjust them as you're working along. But we'll take you through that now. So we've looked at portable couches. Let's now have a look at a static couch. You have a variety of couches available. Uh, this one's a hydraulic, but you can also get electric, things like that. So electric, obviously you need electric supply um, and it does cost more to maintain. They both will need servicing yearly and that's quite an important thing to remember. The other benefit of static couches is that they will take a greater weight than your portable couch. If you've got a heavier client for any reason, these are generally better. Um, their cost is quite expensive. So this one's, I don't know how much this one was, but they're anywhere between 500 and 2,000 pounds, there or thereabouts. So they're quite expensive. Uh, this came with a clinic, so I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, so usual benefits, face hole, and the top goes up and down. With this one, it's slightly different. 
it also has the bottom that goes up and down. So you can put your client either way around, or if you need to elevate their legs in a hurry, you can do. Um, and obviously the other real benefit with this one is it goes up and down with your client on it. You can't do that with portable couches, only with the static. So just pump it up, and then just put your foot on it to drop it down. Obviously these are very, very heavy couches, so you're not moving it anywhere. It stays in the clinic. So that's your static couch.